Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and today we're going to unpack and um, swatch out my brand new set of Core um, 12 introductory colors. I already own the High Chroma and the Earth Color sets. They're already all swatched out and when I created my swatch sheet, I left room for the other colors that I knew I wanted to get. So these came today. I'm very excited. Uh, I don't have my medium palette. I'm going to get another one of these square medium palettes for these 12 colors. Um, it's not here yet though. So we're going to go ahead and swatch. I'm going to set these guys up here. And we're going to go ahead and swatch in our new colors. Um, and this is the introductory set of 12 colors. And it comes in the the same beautiful tin with the little divots for mixing, which we're going to utilize today. This is what the High Chroma and Earth Tone sets look like in a palette, and I use them fairly regularly. I just re-palleted those two sets. The video for that is up on the channel in my palettes and swatches playlist, which I will link down below. We'll set our, our lid here. This comes with the Artist Water, Core Artist Watercolor pamphlet. It tells about their watercolors. And then on the inside, I already went ahead and um, checked off all of the colors that I have, including this set. And there's only one that is um, duplicated, and that's the Quinacridone Magenta. But I use the Quinacridone Magenta a lot, so I, I'm not bummed about that at all. Um, yeah, so the check marks are all the colors that come in the High Chroma and Earth Tones and the introductory set are those colors. If anyone's interested to know, there's the top half. And then down to the bottom of the page. There we go. So it's a nice set of colors. So there's that. We'll set that aside. And it comes with the little insert for all of your colors. And we have, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot of each color out. This is our Nickel Azo Yellow. Maybe. Maybe I'll put, a, there we go. Just a little dot. I said a little dot. Get back in there. Go on. These metal tubes, if you squeeze them too hard, they tend to want to keep coming out. I don't care for this paper insert, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of these guys out. And this is 12 brand new tubes woo, of watercolor. They only look pretty just thrown on the table. <laughs> and this is just a little cardboard insert. It pops out. Come on. Ooh, it's in there pretty snug. And I won't use that. I mean, I might cut it up and use it for something, but I'm not going to use it for the tin. The tin is just a, just a little plastic tin says uh, corecolors.com, Golden Artist Colors Inc., and then the address on the back. So I'm going to set that there. And I have these mapped out on here. So I'm going to set them out in here in accordance real quick. There's our Nickel, Hansa, Gentle, Hansa, yellow and I'm not gonna put out a lot because um, I'm gonna get that meat and palette and uh, where's that connectron gold deep put them all in that palette Ooh. that one just is ready to play Queen gold deep Ooh. Come on, you could do it. This is the most challenging part right here. <laughs> Quinn Deep, 
um, pyro red lights. That's permanent. This is magenta. Permanent alizarin. Where'd the pyro red light go? See, I'm already a mess. Just started. Here it is. Pyro red light. Let's put these in the correct order here real quick. Ultramarine. Thalo. Paints gray. Yellow. Ochre. Sienna and Viridian. Okay. There we go. Now they're in order. I'm going to dampen the corner of my tissue and wipe myself off here since I already made a mess. I haven't even started painting yet. Look at me. I'm a disaster. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Keeping, keeping on with our, with our little situation. Here's our, ooh, that's bright. Pyro, ooh, back there you go. Pyro, Quinn, Magenta, which I'm gonna swatch again just cause it's in the set. I know I have it up here, but it's part of the set, so I feel like I should swatch it again. And then permanent alizarin, alizarin crimson. Come over here. Ooh, nuts in a basket. Just made a mess on my lid. There. Oh, gosh darn it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to save that. It's just going to be a mess. That's all right. Already making a terrible, terrible mess. All right, there's our permanent alizarins. All right. And then phthalo blue. very very swoopy okay and ultramarine ultramarine and viridian Viridian is not a favorite color of mine at all. I'll put it right here. Viridian. But I do mix it with other greens. It will not go to waste. I mix Viridian with other colors to make it go the way I want it to. Yellow Ochre Natural. Whoa. Natural cheese and rice. Disaster. Okay. Burnt sienna. Natural. I don't know what that means. Does anyone know what that means? Like why they put the natural on there? There. And then, Payne's Gray, which I'm excited about because it's close to indigo. Oops, see, I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, there's all our colors out in the tin. And I have out just, um, what are you? A Filbert Snap number 12 by Princeton. Um, it's just the one I grabbed. And we'll go ahead and mix up our nickel azo yellow. Put that 
that down. Let that tint out a bit. Ooh, that's a nice bright yellow. That tints out really nice. I should have put my dark, my dark line on the top, I forgot. I forgot to put my dark lines down. Do I have a Sharpie handy? I do. Not that one. That's a teensy one. I need an actual marker. Thank you. Ooh, sorry. And I'll just... Do a bold line through the top. And the, the reason you do this is so that you can tell what the tinting strength is, how opaque they are um, as you swatch them. Wow, that smells really strong. I'm going over to that top line twice because this is watercolor paper, man. It's very absorbent. There we go. Alright, that shouldn't smudge, I don't think. Let's, let's, a pretty thirsty brush, wet. I'm not familiar with this brush at all, so I'm going to go ahead and get familiar, I guess. And then drop in our Hansa yellow. Nice. Good glob of paint up here, like that. That's a really pretty yellow. That's the kind of yellow I want for like my suns. You know, the sunny sky. And that tints down nice too. Yeah, it's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to grab another tissue here. Let's pick up some of this right there. Then, Quin Gold Deep. I do have Quinacridone Gold in M. Graham colors, which is a phenomenal color in M. Graham, so got me some high hopes for this one. Quinn Gold. Are we sure that's Quinn Gold? Quinn Gold Deep. Pull that down and get some really deep color up here. Ooh, look at that move on that page. That's part of the reason I like um, core colors is because of how they move on the page. How they like to travel and mix on the page. It's very exciting for me. Okay. And then Pyro Red. Wet this down. Grab our pie roll. Put that up here. Nice heavy application. That's actually really pretty. I don't usually like pyro red. Huh. It's actually really pretty. Oops, I got a little too much paint going on right there. There we go. Okay. You know what? You know how 
Swatching can be super relaxing. I'm feeling not terribly relaxed right now, so I'm just going to take our colors. Oof. And magenta. Nice and dark up here. Look at that movement. So pretty. A little bit of extra water down here. Let it play. It's a favorite color of mine. This Quinn Magenta gets used all the time. Lizard Crimson over here. And this square. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a really beautiful red. I dig that. The pie roll's more orange for me, which is how it's supposed to be. I like a nice deep red like that. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. Okay. And then our Pathelo blue. Celo. And then we'll put ultramarine right here. Thalo. Ooh, look at that. Pretty, pretty. I'm digging that color a lot. That's really nice. Okay, let's do our ultramarine. Ultramarine's always a good color. Always, always. It's just gorgeous. My square's not wide enough for it to move around. Which is disappointing considering, whoo, excuse you, considering how much these colors like to move on the page. Go in and wet our square. Like that. We're almost done. Drop in our ultramarine. Ooh, isn't that pretty? My thalo got really dark down here. That's alright. It lightens up really nice. There's our ultramarine. And then Viridian Green. Come on, you want a mint? You want a, you want a play? Come on. Playing all shy? Come on. Viridian. I don't really care for this color. I'm not quite sure why. It's not a bad color. I just... Maybe it's just too, too green. It's just too much. It doesn't tint either yellow or blue. It's just, I don't know. I always mix it with something else. Always, always. Just doesn't call to me. We'll use it. Don't get me wrong. It's just not one of those colors that calls to me for, for a green when I'm doing a landscape or something like that. Not my thing. Not my jam. Yellow ochre. Natural. 
Oh, that's pretty. I was worried it'd be too close to the Naples to, you know, to make a difference in the collection. That's really pretty. I'm digging it. Let's bring it down. Get some gradient sort of happening. Come on. Come on. There we go. There you are. Pull that up a little bit. There. And then we have our burnt sienna natural. And this brush is thirsty. Holds a lot of water. Something to note. Okay. That's this guy. Come on. There we go. Look at that. So satisfying when the paint moves around like that. And I'm doing my swatches just so you're aware. This is a nice sheet of 100% cotton natural um, 140 pound watercolor paper. It's not um, it's not a cheaper brand of watercolor. I tried to swatch my stuff on the on the kind of paper I'm going to use the most for the medium, you know. Mm. That is a beautiful color. I really like that one. I'm digging that Quinn Deep a lot too. That's really pretty. Payne's Gray. Oh, I'm excited about this color. Indigo is one of my favorite, favorite colors. And this was looking... Hey, 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 hey. You don't get to mix in there. What are you thinking? That's not what this game is. <laughs> Try again. Burnt Sienna is just like, I want to play with Payne's Gray. Come on, we're friends. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> yes. That is so satisfying. <laughs> I dig it. Oh, I'm going to love this color. It's kind of got a little bit of a green-blue cast to it. Anybody else seeing that? Nice and inky up there. Okay. How, how does it move around? How are we going to fade out? Oh, nice. Super exciting right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what we do have is something fun to do. Take a large sheet of inexpensive watercolor paper. I'm going to set it right here next to our swatch. And I'm going to set this up here. Well, actually, we'll just set it off to the side. And I'm going to take my big brush. Actually, we could just spritz everywhere. Make sure it's all nice and wet. Like that. Excuse you. And we're going to take a bit of each color. And we're going to put it down. We're going to let it play on the page how it wants to. Yellow. Mm. Pretty pretty. That is our Quin Gold Deep. And then this one is Pyro. Pyro. Look at that. So beautiful. 
And then well, I started with the big brush. I might as well keep going with it, right? Quinn. Magenta. Let's put a little more of this yellow in. See what they do together. A little bit more Quinn Gold. A little bit more Pyro Red. See what they do together. Ooh, they make that pretty orange. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Where's our spritzer? down. Nice deep color in the middle. Let it blend around. Grab this blue. And we'll put it here. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This blue is beautiful. Look at those blends. Plays so nice on the page. Give it a little spritz. Encourage the dangerous situation of blending. And our other blue. We'll put that here. A little bit of it. The ultramarine. And then we'll put ultramarine here. With that magenta. Magenta. Some more red. Some more ultramarine. Ultramarine. There we go. This color is really pretty too. Digging it. Viridian. Put Viridian over here. yellow ochre. Put that next to our there it is. We'll grab some Payne's Gray. Put that down here. Look at all those colors. Whoops. Let's zoom out a little bit. Sorry about that. And then, give the page a little tip. In all the directions, encourage a little, little bit of blending. Let's snag up some of that extra water. This definitely is more of a green gray. Are you guys seeing that? Really beautiful. And look at all that granulation. Could be partially the watercolor paper, but isn't that beautiful? I mean, dang. Look at all that granulation. I didn't know it was gonna do that. That's beautiful. So these are the colors playing together. I hope that interests people. Grab some more of this gold and put it up here. Let's grab some more of our red. And encourage a little bit of playtime over there. And then 
What was this one? This was that gold color over here. And then this bright yellow. Mix that with our magenta. What does that do? Kind of creates a muddy orange color. Close to that gold color, actually. Okay. This blue is really pretty. This phthalo blue. I don't think I've played with phthalo blue there very much. Phthalo blue and crimson. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Thala blue and crimson together. We'll grab ultramarine. I'm almost out of ultramarine. Where's our little... Oh, it's underneath. I didn't put very much out to begin with, right? So we'll just... We'll just put a touch more out for playtime. There we go. Whoops. Oh, a little carried away there. That's alright. I'll put it on the page. You guys can really see what color it is. Like that. And then I wanted to take the ultramarine over here. Nice and heavy. And mix that with this crimson as well. Dot that crimson in there. Ooh. Look at that. So phthalo and crimson and ultramarine and crimson. That's interesting, right? This is more of a dioxazine. And that's more of a, like, I don't even know what I'd call that one. Nice. Pyrrole red, and this blue, mixed with all those yellows, kind of makes a beautiful gray color. These colors all play so well together, it's nuts. I dig it. Alright, what did I have right here? Oh, I mixed the magenta with that salo blue that's really pretty ultramarine this is very green now see that that is very green now down here spin it around Do you guys can, does it look green to you it looks very green to me I'm digging it a lot. Look at that blend. Alright, I think I need to stop playing around because this could get boring for you guys. Super fun for me. Super like, alright, that's enough. And Viridian. Poor Viridian. I really don't care for it. It is pretty on the page though, mixed with the other colors. It's very pretty on the page. Yeah. So let's play time with colors. <laughs> Just to see what they all do together and play around. You could do a more um, artistic thing as well. You don't have to do what I do. I'm going to go ahead and do the, do the circle thing, wet a circle on the page, put another one near it, kind of let them touch on the edges, put this color here. And then the 
this yellow on this side. Super. Grab this red. Put that there. Maybe grab some blue and put it down here. A little extra water in the middle. Drop that blue in. Drop that red in. Let it play on the page. My water is super dirty at this point. Oh. All right, ultramarine. Thalo green shade. Let's get them next to each other. All right. And drop some water in. Encourage some movement. A pile of that. And then we'll put in too muddy. Nice blend of that. Oh, that makes a really nice deep dark brown. Anybody else digging that? Let's get it to blend over here. We'll take our deep dark brown and drop it in. Yeah, that's pretty. I dig it. It's because it's got that green in it. It's got that green tint to it. Which is gorgeous. And that fades out nicely. Oops. Yeah. And you can have a lot of fun doing this kind of exercise. Just just because it'll help with your water control. It'll help with color mixing. It'll help with um, deciding what colors you do and don't like and how they blend together. All kinds of things will happen when you just play like this. Ooh, that one's neat. Dig it so much. Yeah. Oh, I got a splotch over there. Don't be afraid to make a mess. Bink, 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 bink. <laughs> and if you make a mess somewhere, just add it everywhere. No one will know that it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I had a lot, a lot of fun doing this. Oh, I didn't try to make greens. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Ooh, look at that green. It's kind of thalo related. So I've resurrected thalo. A little more blue in there. That's pretty. Okay. Grab. We'll do another yellow one right here. We'll let it touch into that. We'll drop yellow in. And we'll drop in our, well, what's left of our ultramarine. That's not going to help us. Man, going through this ultramarine. 
Come on. Oh, here we go again. These dang lids. Oh, Lord, help me. Thank you. <laughs> he listened. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you, Lord. All right, let's drop in. Nice bold blob of ultramarine. Encourage some blending. Almost out of this yellow as well. But we can get in here and make a nice little, little blendy blend. That's pretty. I didn't make any oranges really, did I? Let's put a blob down here. We'll go in with this yellow. See what kind of orange we can make with this yellow. What's left of this alizarin? Ooh, that's rusty. That's a rusty orange color. I don't have very much of that out either. That's all right. You guys get the gist of the play of the the color play, right? Get it? You understand? It's all about playing with color. What else do I have down here? Fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. And this is pretty cheap paper, so the colors faded quite a bit. That's okay. We like them, right? We like all that color play. All that fun blending. And then there's the messy one. That's almost dry, actually. And look at all the granulation that happened on the paper with the mixing of the colors. Really, really pretty. I really like this Payne's Gray a lot, too. It plays well with the other colors. Oops, still a little damp. My bad. Excuse me. That's all right. Get my fingerprint out of there. But yeah. So these are my new colors. We're going to play with them in the next couple of videos. Look at that granulation. Look at that. Ugh. I love it. And this is the entire set of core colors that I have right now. I feel like the Venetian red is not one that I use a lot. The raw umber I definitely don't use a lot. Um, but yeah, we'll see how much I use all the other colors. I love the cobalt teal. The cobalt teal is beautiful. Um, but yeah, this is a nice collection of colors. We have our indigo which I can mix with my Payne's Gray and see how that plays together. And so I can't wait to play with all these colors together in a painting and see what they do. Maybe we'll do an autumn earth toned um, color play with, um, yeah, with all of our colors. That would be fun, right? All right, I'm going to stop talking and stop playing. This video is probably pretty long now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi everyone, this is the last part of the Core Watercolor Palette Saga. <laughs> um, I'm coming back in at the end of the video from putting these guys together because I got the, the 12 introductory set. I already have my Bichroma and my Earth Colors in this palette. So I got another one of these, as you can tell, I use it. Messy artist, pristine and new. <laughs> this is what it's going to look like in no time at all. Um, but this is what it looks like all pristine and new. And it has a little mixing area on it. And then there's the, just like the other one, the wells. And there are 12 wells, perfect number for all of the colors that I have. But 
this came and I didn't I've already played with it a little bit just to test things out and unboxed it but I wanted to finish putting together the um all right how am I gonna do this yeah we'll do we'll do it like this we'll do it yellow yellow right Blue, blue, green, ochre, brown, gray, red, magenta, and permanent alizarin, but I think we're going to trade those like that. Okay. So I'm just going to fill these up real quick, and then we are going to do a painting with them. This is Hansa Yellow Lights. We're going to do a little, um, there's a cover of the Saga um, comic book that I love that I'm going to do, a <coughs> attempt to do a version of it. This is Nickel Azo Yellow. I'm going to put these back in here in the right order so that when I swatch them, which I'll probably swatch them tomorrow, and I'll put the video together, um, put it all together for you guys. Um, Either tomorrow night or the next night. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Because I do have other. Uh, with a little dollop on the end there. I have other things to do tomorrow other than editing videos. Quin Deep. Quinacridone Gold Deep. Here. Oh, that's going to be fun to play with. Dream me. Look at that. Gorgeous. And I'm putting these in these um, ceramic palettes because um, I have found with my out of sight, out of mind mentality, the way I, I do things, that's not going to change. But. I keep my, my tubes in my little tins, and my tins way over on the shelf over there, and I don't think to use my, um, my core watercolors. And they're actually a lot of fun, and I'm super excited to use the introductory set. There we go. Oh, come on, stop. It's full already. Make, make it stop. Okay. I think it'll be alright. That one's full to the tippity top. <laughs> um, but I won't. I don't use my core watercolors because they're way over there, and I have to get them out. And um, I will go get my my M. Graham watercolor palette from wherever that sucker's hiding because those are my favorites. Um, I don't have all the colors in that set that I want, but they are favorites. Um, so this one is super bright. It is, what color are you? There we go. Pyro Red Light, and this darker one is Permanent Alizarin Crimson. So we've got our yellow golds up there, and then we're going to have a little row of reds. Because this one is Quinacridone Magenta. It's the only duplicate color in the three sets was the Quinn Magenta. Uh, I don't know if that was a mistake on their part or if it's just how they are. I don't mind though because I use the Quinn Magenta kind of a lot. It's a favorite color. So, we'll squeeze in that direction. There we go. Um, so there's our red, two reds. So warm and, warm and a cool, warm and a cool is how the thought pattern. Warm, cool, warm, cool. And then these are just extra. They're so good. So good. This one is Thalo Blue Green Shade. Played with this one. This one's really pretty. Okay. Perfect. 
Um, and I found with having this just on the back of the desk back there, I grab it all the time now. It's um, becoming a, a staple palette. Uh oh. Come on. There we go. Got a little blue on me. This one is Ultramarine. I think every set that I've ever bought has an Ultramarine in it. I do love the Ultramarine. I use it kind of a lot. And you'll notice some of the colors are more thick than the others. They'll kind of settle down into the pans too over, over time. Over time. There, and then I'll put our Viridian up here next to our blues. Uh, Viridia is not a color I normally go to, but I found in playing with them and mixing them up on here <coughs> that it mixes well with the other colors and plays nice with the other colors. So maybe I need to use it more and get more practice with it. And it'll become a, a more loved color. We'll see. We shall see. I can always tell which ones I love the best because they wear down to, to the bottom of the pan super fast. But we got um, a gift card for doing a good job at work. And um, yeah, that's pants gray, so we'll go yellow ochre. Um, which is why I could afford to get this palette this set. Not that I can't afford it, it's just um, justifiable expenses for on art supplies when I have so many art supplies that I don't use enough. So this year is a use all the supplies you have year. Which is another reason to put these in these little meat in palettes and leave them on the desk so that I actually use them. And I pulled all my colored pencils out of their boxes and put them in cups in in a bin in each cup is in a bin. Watercolor pencils in one, colored pencils in the other. Um, so that they're out and I use them. If I if I have to dig and open a open a tin and clear clear the whole table off them, it's a whole big to do. I'm not gonna use them as much. I'll look at the box and be like, I should use you. And then I just don't. There we go. Paints gray. Perfect. Isn't it pretty? I love how they look in the little palettes. Um, this set costs $47 plus tax. So roughly $52, $53, something like that. And then... Um, <coughs> The little palette is twelve dollars, so uh, so I have twenty four right six, six is twelve yeah twenty four core colors which is amazing. Ah, may say um, <coughs> these are my tints, earths, and then the introductory set like that. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, I can pull them down into frame. They'd be even prettier. <laughs> but here's our grab some grab some paint and put it down on the page and throw some water down. Like that. That's a beautiful color. I wanted to, the reason I stopped to do this is because I really want to use these in my painting that I'm going to, about to do. The colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Drop some water in, encourage a little play. Grab my red. Already starting to dry a little bit. 
It's a very light. Yeah. That it plays, these colors all play well together. They're a lot of fun to use. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the crimson. So pretty. Encourage a little play. Go ahead and wet there. This blue is so great. I never thought to get this blue. Um, it's that green shade, that phthalo green shade. It's really nice and it plays and mixes some really beautiful colors. And here's our ultramarine. Our lovely traditional ultramarine. Which mixes in with these colors and makes some beautiful purples and oranges. <clears throat> I did that in the um, unboxing video, which will be in front of this. It will, it'll be the unboxing of all these and playing around on paper, but I just wanted to do a quick swatch of all the colors. Just in case I'm editing, I decide to change the order of things. Oops, 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 that's a lot. Make it there. Isn't that pretty? And then this, I, uh, this one's really dreamy, is that paint's gray, but it's got a green tint to it, so it's really, really nice. Dig it. And now, we're all set to do our big painting. Yeah, so there we go. All set. Oops. Okay. Little flyer back in to put there, and I'll do a formal swatch. Um, if you guys want to see me do the formal swatch of all these colors um, with the gradients? So let me know. I can film that. Um, I need one for when I use the paints. Um, like I need a swatch to put next to these so I know what colors are where. But yeah, the only ones that I feel like repeating a little bit. There's this one and this one. This one's a little less intense. And definitely the magenta. We have two of those, but that's okay. Not gonna worry about it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna stop talking and I will see you guys later. Bye.